Snap Gang and my reaction here, and today I'm reacting to another new video that you guys want me to react to, I will be reacting to right now, this is 10 most bizarre matches in history, whatculture.com, I will be reacting to what to do this guys, shout out to whatculture.com for making this, shout out to you guys for watching this video, shout out to anyone that still subscribes to me to this date, thank you so much for 400 subscribers, I couldn't ask for more, you guys are the best, comment down below, that's all I want to do, I mean here from you guys, your reactions to this video, what to do this, this will, of course, be a reaction. <sighs> I like it. Hey, the bloodiest matches video did well, because of course it did, you grotty little subhumans. <laughs> so let's talk hardcore. The ludicrously stipulated deathmatch style of wrestling has been around for decades in Texas yeah. death matches, concession stand it's rules, Japanese. Guys, it's astonishing how many matches people have been in that were, like, bloody as this one. Like, it's disgusting. Thank God they took it off. ECW, you do not want to be there. Like, they use real crap. And guys, you know that chainsaw and that barbed wire bat wasn't going to be used in the Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose match. You know that very well. Brock Lesnar just even hit him up with that chainsaw when he still had it, and he couldn't do anything. As death matches, concession stand brawls, Japanese death matches, and an ECW before being popularized by WWE and WCW. Mm -hmm. Revolving as it does around shock value, the style has been home to a host of ludicrous stipulations and nonsense matches. Here are some of the strangest. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com. <laughs> 10 most bizarre hardcore matches in wrestling history. history. Number 10, hardcore evening gown match. So let's start with two old men dressed as women and battering the piss out of each other. Like RuPaul's Drag Race, Glasgow edition. It's crazy. Matt Patterson and Jay Briscoe <laughs> were two supremely successful wrestlers back in the 70s and 80s, but known by casual fans for portraying Vince McMahon's bumbling stooges. At King of the Ring 2000, both men had been comedically feuding over the hardcore title, pinning each other while sleeping and dressing as women to hide in women's <laughs> rooms. The was the cause for this surreal disgrace of a match as two legends kick their legacies to death in a woeful three minutes of wig pulling and granny panties. Stupid. Number nine, the Gulf of Mexico match. One of the few actually memorable moments of WWE's reboot of ECW, and not necessarily in a good way, in 2008, CM Punk was feuding with Chavo Guerrero of the ECW Championship, and before their title clash at No Way Out, they were pitted against each other in the first and only Gulf of Mexico match. The arena they were wrestling in was situated across the road from the tension of golf, and the only way to win the match is to throw your opponent into the body of water. Oh, yeah, that's true. This was a very silly thing, and considering how dirty the water likely was, probably the most actually dangerous match on this list. Number eight, the dungeon match. Now, this is not what you think it is. You're thinking of the dungeon of doom, and it's not that. <laughs> it's not that nice. But it's still quite weird. Stu Hart's dungeon was essentially a basement, but it served as a wrestling school for some of the best technicians in the business, including Bret Hart, Owen Hart, Rich Bulldog, Edge, Christian Natalia, Chris Jericho, Chris Benoit, everyone. Lewis, kid. However, for one night only, it was also the setting of a match between Owen Hart and Ken Shamrock. It was a brawl where both men battered each other's heads off the walls <laughs> on the hard floor and clobbered one another with dumbbells. We've seen matches set in boiler rooms, fake bars, and now, most deadly of them all, Canadian basements. <laughs> this was just rubbish. Yeah, the people Johnny Prison was just pushed to the hard. moon because he was big. At one point, he got wins over Kane. And the Undertaker. Look, here he is pinning the Undertaker with his foot. It's awful. So they wanted to give the yeah. giant man his own signature match in his feud with the Undertaker, and that was the Punjabi Prison match. The Punjabi Prison was built of sharpened bamboo, and to be honest, it looks like it should be a cool match. I mean, look at the thing. But the rules <laughs> are ludicrously complicated, involving multiple cages to escape and doors are only open for certain amounts of time, and then they close, and then you have to choose a different door. It was rubbish. And yeah. first of all, the great Carly, the innovator of the match, didn't even feature in it. He wasn't medically cleared, apparently, and was replaced at the last minute with the big show of all people. people. Number six, yeah. the Judy Bagwell on a forklift match. Vince Russo, step <laughs> right up. If you've read about wrestling on the internet, they even counted Vince Russo, and if some corners of the IWC are to be believed, he's the worst thing to have ever happened to wrestling, crippling the industry with convoluted, nonsensical story lightings, lowest common denominator smart, oh, and stipulations that are ridiculous on a pole. Whether you see him as genius or Hitler, there's no denying that the Judy Bagwell on a forklift match was the pit. Buff Bagwell was <laughs> feuding with Chris Pastor in the Canyon in WCW in 2000, and as part of the storyline, Canyon was stalking and then eventually kidnapped Bagger's mum. Sure. Oh my god. 
Buff would have to beat him in a Judy Bagwell on a forklift match. First of all, what? Second of all, <laughs> shut up. Better than Canyon? Nobody. What's worse than a match being watched over by a middle-aged lady on a forklift? Nothing. Nothing. Number five, the king of the road match. We're sticking with WCW and more ludicrous tosh from Ted Turner's House of Wrestling. The king of the road yes. match took place at the uncensored pay-per-view in 1995. The black top bully for Dustin Rhodes in the back of the trailer being driven by an 18 wheel. That was so On the trailer stupid. Was a cage full of hay and the two men hit each other with pig troughs because why not? You won the match by climbing to the top of the cage and sounding the truck's horn. Fun fact, not only was it a bizarre, awkward dud of a match, but WCW also had a strict no bleeding policy at the time and after both men bladed, they were both summarily dismissed from the company. Exactly. Hardcore. Number four, the Alligator Death Match. Across the water to Japan, now flagship nation of crazy death matches, in Big Japan Pro Wrestling, Mitsuhiro it was crazy. Shadow WX in an Alligator Death Match. The stipulation was, the loser of the death match had to then fight an alligator. Nice work, Japan. <laughs> Not only was the main match, Utter Carnage, featuring barbed wire boards, barbed wire baseball bats, beds of nails, dumb, dumb, dumb. Matsunaga lost, and he had to fight a small and presumably scared alligator there was no tussling just a japanese man limply prodding an alligator with his foot and an alligator who just wandered out of the ring because he was the smartest thing in the building number exactly. three the chambers of horrors match wcw my old friend good to see you. <laughs> my old exactly friend that. i see you <laughs> <show. laughs> no it was so stupid i don't know why they would do this and stuff oh and an electric chair that was loaded into the middle of the ring it was a five on five tag match and the match would only be won by someone being strapped into the electric chair and have someone flip a switch and electrocute them. Yep, a match where in kayfabe the loser was killed. Rest in peace, Abdullah the Butcher. It was a star <laughs> match featuring Sting, it was crazy. Curtis Jack, Big Van Vader, and an entire audience of people who thought they'd just seen a murder or a crap wrestling match. Or both. <laughs> Number two, the no rope electrified yes. barbed wire swimming pool dynamite double hell death match. This <laughs> <laughs> official stipulation in recorded history. It was put on by Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling, and let's break it down. So the ring is on an island in this gigantic pool of water. Stay with us. And in addition to the electrified barbed wire surrounding half the ring, stay with us. The water surrounding the ring was laced with explosives, and if you to the water, the water exploded. Right. Also, <laughs> the wrestlers had to be transported to the ring in a dinghy. Mike Awesome was in this match. I don't really have much more to say. Like and number one, the kennel from hell match. If no! you're be on the list, then you're fired. I don't care what job you do, you're fired. So the big boss man killed Al Snow's dog Pepper and fed it to him. Cool, all on board so far. To get revenge, Snow challenged him to a kennel from hell match at Unforgiven 1999. He took a steel cage, put it inside a hell in a cell with a pack of vicious dogs surrounding the ring. That sounds great. Of course the dogs didn't play ball, preferring to sit around, copulate with each other, or crap on the floor rather than look in any way menacing. It was a piece yeah. of dog shit from beginning to end and possibly the worst hardcore match ever created. Really? And that's our list. Did we miss anything? Yes. Tell us about it in the comments don't You did not watch. miss you anything. You Good job. job. I'm Adam Lamar. I'm all of them, man. See you soon. Wow. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, let me speculate on this a little bit. If you guys really don't know uh, some of the hardcore matches, um, the last one he was talking about the Kennel from Hell match. Yes, that was a really dumb match because to start off, it could have been better without the dogs. Not only the well, actually, no, never mind, never mind, it wouldn't. Um, the thing about this match, however, though, is that it it, it was just pure retardation like it was they had the dog strapped up and they did nothing the whole match they just pooped on the floor peed on the floor like they just like it was it was dumb you know and the fact that they still did this match and thought it was a good script like it was just mind-boggling you know like it hurt my head just listening to it but thank you Adam, for making this video hope you liked that uh the reaction i made to this video and hope you guys enjoyed this video that are watching out there thank you so much for subscribing commenting whatever thank you so much for 400 subscribers i really couldn't ask for more and see you guys later Peace out.